Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. As you can tell, I'm doing some pre-filming. So today's video is going to be a book review on Gilded by Marissa Meyer. So if you don't know, Marissa Meyer is one of my favorite YA authors. I have read, I think, almost all of her works at this point. The first thing I ever read by her was the Renegades trilogy, which is an urban fantasy about superheroes, and I fell in love with it. I absolutely love that trilogy. I know not everyone's the biggest fan of it, but I loved that story so much. And that's what got me into reading Marissa Meyer originally, and then I picked up the Lunar Chronicles pretty shortly after that. Read through all the Lunar Chronicles, really enjoyed that series, though not as much as Renegades, which is a hot take, I think. I've also read Heartless by her, which I was excellent. I really loved that book. Is that all I've read by her? That might be all I've read from her at this point. I know she came out with uh, Instant Karma recently, and I didn't read that, even though I, I do want to, just simply because it's her. But, you know, all that to say, I really do like this author. She's just one of those authors where I know I will read whatever she puts out. Also, apologize in advance if you can hear Legend. He has a chew toy that is squeaking and... He needs to entertain himself, so if he has to squeak on camera, he has to squeak on camera. So yeah, big fan of Marissa Meyer, and when I heard about that she was starting to do retellings again, like she did with the Lunar Chronicles, I was very excited. And when I heard about Gilded, and that it was going to be a Rumpelstiltskin retelling, I was like, yes, sign me up, pumped, can't wait. So I got it the day it came out because I was way too excited and I read it and I finished it recently and it was really good. So this is not, I don't know if anybody has this assumption, this is not the same world as the Lunar Chronicles at all. So I don't know if anybody was thinking that going into this book, knowing that it was a retelling and that she was doing all those retellings in like the sci-fi world. This is not that, this is completely different. Gilded takes place in a fantasy world that is very Germanic inspired. I just did another book review about a Germanic book, so it's kind of funny that this one is next, but whatever. And obviously it's Rumpelstiltskin retelling. It also talks about the Urkling. I never know how to say that name, but like, you hear about the Urkling in Winter Song and other Germanic tales where he's basically this like fey, prince, king, goblin king type guy. He's usually evil. He's got pointed teeth, which is always very interesting to me that you write a character with pointed teeth because it just makes them so much more sinister. Anyway, it involves that and the wild hunt, which is like a hunt of fairy, dark fairy that go and they like hunt animals. And there's a lot of wild hunt mentions when you talk about fae. So it involves all of that. And it also involves obviously the rumpled stiltskin portion of the retelling. So you're following the main character, Cyrilda, and she loves to tell stories. And she's kind of known in the town as a liar because she just spins all of these stories and talks about all of these stories and makes up things in the stories, makes up details in the stories that aren't true. And so she's kind of earned this reputation as a storyteller to the children, but also as a liar and somebody that cannot be trusted in her town. She also has these eyes that have, that are like black, that have a golden spinning wheel in them. It is said that a, the god of mischief or like lies and storytelling um, blessed or cursed her. When she was a baby, her dad saved this god and the god pretended to bless his child, but then he ended up cursing his child. And so she has these golden spinning wheels in her eyes and it is seen as to everyone as unlucky and cursed. So they think that like the things that go wrong in their town involve her and if she's at this event something's gonna go wrong and it's gonna be her fault because she's cursed. So she's living her life essentially cursed and the townspeople think that she's cursed but also because of her reputation and her ability and desire to, to tell stories and say all these things that aren't necessarily true. Nobody in the town trusts her and everybody in the town thinks that like all the bad things that are happening are her fault. So she's living with pretty a pretty lonely life except for the children that really like to hear her stories. And she's kind of, she's not ostracized from the community, but they all just have this like bad view of her and don't really want to interact with her because they're afraid that something will happen to them if they do. And so it's just her and her father and she works at the schoolhouse and she helps teach the children and the like headmistress lady really doesn't like her because she thinks she's a miscreant and she is a miscreant, but it's kind of one of those, is she a miscreant because she's cursed or is she a miscreant because of how people treat her? And it's actually really interesting because the, the main character actually gets into this a little bit in the first part of the book where she talks about she lies. So she lies, tells stories, etc. And she said the one thing that 
people tend to do when you tell lies is they they'll start to think you're untrustworthy not just in lying and like fibbing and storytelling but also in stealing and other things like that and she finds that when people don't trust you to tell the truth they don't trust you in most ways i thought that was a really interesting thing to point out is that when you people feel that you're not a trustworthy person in storytelling or they think you're going to tell them lies when they ask you simple questions or you tell stories instead of telling the truth when they ask you simple questions that they start to think that you're a bad person and so she's kind of dealing with the repercussions of that and the story really takes off when she saves these two fey magical creatures they're called moss maidens from the wild hunt she hides them from the wild hunt and the wild hunt comes upon her and she tells them a story and she tells them that she can spin gold and that's why she was out in the middle of the night instead of in her bed because she was collecting straw to spin it into gold so they wouldn't find out that she was hiding the people they were hunting and so the Urkling and the Wild Hunt kind of buy it at the time and they leave but then they start coming back for her and demanding that she spins straw into gold and how she deals with that and the story goes from there. She talks about being blessed from Hulda which is another god that can give you gold spinning abilities. So when she lies to the Dark Fae, the story goes from there and how she's going to get out of that situation and survive that situation because the Urkling is very dangerous and she's trying not to get caught in a lie to him or her life will be forfeit. So it gets pretty sinister pretty quickly. And it's really interesting reading from this perspective because you're kind of like, just tell the truth and don't lie and you won't get in these situations. But then like, it just keeps getting worse and you're being drug along and you know her father gets drug into this and you're wondering if it's going to affect the rest of the townspeople and so she ends up getting taken by the wild hunt to the castle and you're trying and you're trying to figure out how she's going to spend this gold and she makes a friend and she's trying to solve a mystery of the castle and how all of this came to be because the castle is not his original castle and she can't seem to find any history about it and i'm trying not to say too much but I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was so good and also very different from what Marissa Meyer has written in the past because while she doesn't write like really fluffy things and there are dark and sinister themes to her writing, this was way darker than I've ever seen from her before. And I loved it. There were parts of this that were very gruesome. There were parts of this that were hard to read occasionally. There's parts of it where you're like, no, and you're like screaming and you're like, I can't believe this happened. And there's parts where you're cheering for her and there's parts where you're like, what is gonna happen? There's parts where you're angry at the main character for not just like telling the truth and you're trying to figure out how all of this is gonna play out. And I was very invested in this story. I really loved it. And if you don't know, this is going to be a duology. I believe the second one is called Cursed, which is supposed to come out in like a year, whatever, it's fine. I'm not dying inside. And so I am like on the edge of my seat dying to know what happens in this next book, but I'm going to have to wait like a year. And I'm so invested. I'm so invested in the characters. I'm so invested in how the story is going to play out. I have no idea how she's going to bring this all together in a way that's not horrible. <laughs> I feel like the story cannot end well. I'm trying really hard not to blind you because this cover is so shiny. But like, but you get to the end of this book and you're just like, first off, the, the part that happens before this the end of this book you're just like horrified and confused and then you're like is this going to be one of those things where everything's fine in the end but it's not fine in the end at least not in this book and then you're like the the, the tail just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning and you're just like how is this going to get resolved there's no way this can be resolved and i am extremely curious at how she's going to resolve it i really loved this book I will say going into it, for some reason, I don't know where this came from, I don't know who gave me this impression, or if it was my own imagination. I thought this was going to be a dark romance, probably because it's Marissa Meyer, but I thought this was going to be a dark romance between the Urkling and the main character. That is not what it is. Not at all. Not even a little. So if you're expecting this to be like a villain type romance, that's not what this is. And I'm saying that in the best way possible because I love this book. I think I heard somebody tell me that like she was going to fall in love with the villain and that's what the tale was going to be. That's not what it is. I'm so glad that's not what it is. So I just wasn't expecting what this book actually was, but I love what this book actually is. And like I said, it's a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin. So you're getting like this gold spinning things. And I don't, I'm not familiar. I'm not extremely familiar with the Rumpelstiltskin tale, the original one. I've heard other things and I know bits and pieces of it, but it does go into that quite a bit and I'm not sure how it'll all play out in the second one, like I've said. 
but there's parts of this that I'm just like whoa she went there and also parts of this that you're just like I don't know so there's there's multiple there's multiple scenes where I thought oh this is gonna miraculously come together and be fine and it wasn't and it was horrible and the character suffers and I loved that because I thought that was different and I appreciate that in writing where things aren't just like magically fine and magically put together and it was there was a solution that came out of nowhere everyone's still alive like that makes you happy inside but sometimes I think to myself like that's way too easy of a solution like that just fell into your lap like that wouldn't happen that's not what this book is this book is showing repercussions of your actions and of just circumstances and other people's actions that don't end well and aren't happy endings and i really appreciated that out of this book and i feel like there's times where you're like oh well this is gonna happen and it's gonna be fine and then it doesn't and you're like you kind of take a step back because you think wow like that's not great but that's how it would happen i'm trying not to say too much i know i'm being very vague but it's because i'm trying not to say too much of the plot points and spoil anything for you so I think there's part of you that's like sad that it wasn't happy. The other part of you thinks, yeah, that's that's what would happen. It would not end well. People would get hurt. People would die, like these different things. And so I thought that was done really well. And I really appreciated this darker writing of Marissa Meyer. I won't say I loved this more than I loved Renegades, but I would say this is probably my favorite besides Renegades. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I feel like the only reason I didn't give it a five stars was because there's some things in here that I just didn't, I just didn't love. There's nothing wrong with it. I just didn't love it. There's a trope in here that I don't love, but it makes sense in this story completely. So I can't fault it for that. And it's not the book's fault that I don't like a trope like that, but I really loved this story. I thought it was very well done. I am so <laughs> entranced and want to know what happens. I'm very invested in this story. I have no idea how this could have a happy ending. Kind of help, kind of don't want it to have a happy ending. I want things to get resolved, but I don't really want it to have a happy ending. And I hope that she continues in that the vein that she was writing in where things aren't always turning out hopeful. And there is a little bit of that like self-sabotage arc for the character because she like almost can't help but lie or tell these stories. So it's cool to see why that's like just ingrained in this character and how they're like, well, what's another lie? And I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but I, I really loved this book. I thought it was really well done. I think if you like fairy tale retellings, you'll really enjoy this. I think if you like darker fairy tales or darker stories in general that have some gruesome elements, some mystery elements, and also not every situation ends up happy, I think you'll really like this book. There's a couple characters that I feel like you're really rooting for and you really love and they're just endearing to you. There's characters that are dark and have depth. There's characters that are self-sabotaging like the main character. So I think there's a lot to get into in this book, but it's not it's not necessarily like super complex, but there's just some mysteries and things you're trying to unravel as you go. There's a lot of different fae and dark fairy tale stuff and it's just overall really intriguing and if you're at all interested in this book i would suggest picking it up it is very different than how she usually writes as i've said before but i really appreciated that so if you've wanted marissa meyer to write a little darker or a little different i would say grab this read it give it a shot see what you think for those of you that have read this book please let me know what you think i would love to talk to you about it all right everyone well that is it for today's rambly book review video Sorry if you couldn't keep track of anything I was saying, but I did really enjoy that book. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. Bye.